All right, I'm standing on the uh, beautiful back porch of Lakeview Manor. And uh, just getting ready to head to... Got to figure out what happened to my house, Carl, Winstead Manor. So I'm going to go to the place where I was made Thane. Morthal, go investigate that. He may be sitting there waiting for me still. Sometimes that happens. And also, I'm going to go investigate Falion. I'm by myself right now. I dropped uh, um, Mary Jane and Vilia off at Helyarkin Hall. And so let's see what's going on here. Oh, look at this. Speak of the devil. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house car. It's an honor to serve you. Well now, uh... <laughs> follow me, I need your help. Excellent. Lead on, Thane. Valdemar. What have you got, Valdemar? What do you need, Thane? Let's take a look at your stuff. Do you need something from me, Thane? Oh, or the... can I carry something for you? I'm going to, you need more, you need better stuff. As a matter of fact, you can carry something for me, all right. How about this mace? It's all yours, buddy. Lead on, then. Yeah, that looks better. That's more befitting uh, House Carl of the Dragonborn. Um, for fun, let's go talk. Well, look at you. If only everyone acted like you did. Thank you. Is there some kind of trouble here in Morthal? That which is unknown can create unease, even mm. fear. Yeah. It is to be expected. It is. Some fear our new resident wizard. As they grow to know him, they will accept him. All right. Time will prove me right. Okay. All right, then. There's that. Guess we can go see what the... If you've business with the Jarl... I'd ask that you speak to me first. So what's going on in Morthal? There's news of rebellion against the Empire. Strange noises have been heard in the marshes at I think night. we talked to him already and about then, this. the tragedy with Rogar's home. Which we solved. The men simply seek wisdom. Everything will be fine. Right. Okay. All right, then. Be about your business. Be about your business. And the Dragonborn will be about his. All right, well, the good news is we've figured out what was going on with our house Carl. Here he is, all in one piece. And maybe if we get him up to that property, Lydia will quit wandering off so much. We'll see. All right. And lastly, we'll go in here and ask about any rumors. We won't ask about jobs. We don't care about radiant jobs at this right now. There ain't much to offer, but if you want a place dry to spend the night, I'll rent you. Running an inn weren't my plan, but Follian decided to move here, so I joined him. All right. Uh, well, she's not going to say anything bad about Follian, so is business in Morthal slow? Slow? No. It just ain't there at all. Oh. Few enough reasons to pass through Morthal before the war started. All right. Now, well, let's just say the front door doesn't get much use. Okay. Until next time. Till next time. All right. Well, let's go talk to Falian himself. I know there's supposed to be some sort of thing where he's under suspicion. It may not amount to much. What time is it? 9.47 p.m. His house may be closed. We'll see. If it is closed, then we'll run up to Winstad Manor. Check in there. Wonder what it's like for those Thalmor now that they've been taken down a notch. I love taking down the Thalmor a notch. All right, Falian. Hey, wait, My wait, 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 wait. Are much needed here in order to keep Morthal safe. Morthal is a troubled place. It's my duty to see it rest in peace. All right. So what can you tell me about the area? The marsh is treacherous. You would do well to not wander at night. All right. 
And why set up shop in Morthal? As anyone will tell you, Morthal can be a dangerous place. My talents are useful here. I help maintain order, even if it goes unnoticed. I'm about ready to get in trouble. Till next time. You need to leave. I'm leaving. I'm going. That's Skyrim's way of saying that uh, they closed the business, but you were inside. <laughs> when I was a kid, there was a uh, a store that I shopped at regularly, and when it They'd give like this little announcement over the PA. That's unusual. That's a nice way to patrol. They'd give a little announcement over the PA that the store was about to close in 10 minutes, and then at the top of the hour, whenever the store was supposed to close, bang! They would they would uh, just shut the lights off. By sure. Is that? Is that <laughs> yeah, it's Azura Star. I get that a lot. Alright. Alright, let's go up to uh, Winstead and release Valdemar or whatever his name is. Sounds like a sounds like a vampire name. I can never remember his name. And see whether or not he'll hang around. Alright, friend, where Come out of the trees, it's okay. This is the new this is the new joint. What do you need, Thane? Um it's time for us to part ways. I'll return to Winstead Manor yes. and remain on guard, my Thane. Alright. Excellent. So he's on guard. It's twelve forty two AM. I wonder if that means he's gonna go inside and go to bed. See what his routine is. Is there even a bed for him yet? I don't know. Needless to say, now he's here. And that's good. It's good indeed. I'm going to go down and check out my fishery. And see if I have any river bedding. The only way to harvest the fish is to go into the water. It'd be easier to do if it were light outside. I can't see. Wonder if it'll work while I'm underwater. <laughs> kind of. River Betty. River Betty. River Betty. Alright. Now I can make some good <laughs> paralyzing potions. Paralyzing poisonous potions. Love it. Stad Banner. <sighs> Check out the place. Looking good. Wow, Elia, you've been you've been busy, friend. Maybe I can lend a hand and make a bed. Okay, I need nails, leather strips, and straw. Let's go do that real quick. She's been uh, she's been overworked. Nails, leather strips, and straw. The other day, it's funny. I was uh, <clears throat> looking for the tanning rack out here, running around at night. It's like right here. And when I was putting the video up, I was kind of skimming through it, and I saw myself run right by it. Pretty embarrassing. Pretty embarrassing. Mm. 
think that's all I need. Uh, let's go. How many did I need? Two? I think I did two straw. Let's go ahead and at least make another bed. Because look at this. Let's see if I can beat him upstairs, because he's going to look for a place to sleep. And if he can't find one, he's just going to stand there. It's going to be can pathetic. And I'm going to look like a crummy guy when he goes to talk to his friends at the, at the House Carl's Union. All right. Look at this, watch this. Do do do. Oh, and this he's just uh, standing around. No big deal. Oh yeah, I was there the whole time waiting for you. We'd been waiting for you for a long time. And uh sorry you're having a hard time getting around the edge there. There we go. Yeah. Don't mind me, just checking out the staff. Now he has no idea that we just barely put this here. Oh, thank goodness. So hard to be a dragonborn and property owner and managing all these people. Trying to care for their welfare. You know, having to deal with a health insurance company. And the taxes. Oh my gosh. You have no idea. All right. We're out of here. Glad we got that settled. Last thing I want to do, I do want to go back to this is just we're doing we're doing housekeeping stuff. I want to go back to the blue palace and see what the deal is with me not being able to have the kids' room in Proud Spire Manor. What's the hang up there? Do we know? Do we know? What time is it? 521. Mm, sleep's not going to do me any good. Let's go in here. I've been halfway tempted to get Dawn Guard, put it in here, and use that to. Uh, continue questing, you know, to build up my my levels uh, before, before I do Dragonborn. Here comes the court. Everybody's going to show up. There's Eriker, the guy that I'd like to sock in the face. Please address all questions to the steward. Folk Firebeard. I were I would if he were here. My duty is to keep the Jarl safe, not play nursemaid to you sycophants. <sighs> May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Hey, I'd like to decorate my home. I'd be glad to help you. And of course, now, what would you like to purchase? <sighs> it won't let me do it, man. Never mind. Even though I don't want to say never mind, I want a kid's room. As you wish. Speak to me again if you decide to purchase some decorations for your home. All right. I won't forget what you've done for Solitude. Let's go talk to uh, Breitling. Thane Breitling, at your service. She's got no dialogue. All right. Somewhere I know she's got a mine where they've got a problem, and I haven't... Uh, can't remember where that is. Let me look that up real quick. Thane Breiling. Ling. Give me just a split second. Breiling, UESP wiki. Owner of Rock Swallow Mine. Alright. 
She is evidently having a secret tryst with Falk Firebird, the steward of solitude. Yes, 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 yes. Alright. So she does have a quest, payment delivery, tell Thane Briley that late shipment from Rock Swallow Mine will be arriving soon. I don't even know where Rock Swallow is in this game. I haven't run across it. I just remember doing that before. Okay. Let's go visit Rock Swallow Mine. Near Frostmere Crypt. I've been to Frostmere Crypt. Labyrinthian. Maybe I haven't been there in this game. Rock Swallow Mine. The Lordstone. So many places I haven't been at down uh, this part of the woods. Need to go visit. Let me back the map out a little bit. All right. Great lift at Mazincha Left. I know I've been there. Great lift at Mazincha Left. And. Shrine of Mehrunes Dagon. Stone Hills. There it is. I have been there. I don't recall getting any quests, though. Let's find out. If that's all you need, Dragonborn, just say the word. I think I need to put my helmet on. I think that's uh, what I need to do. Yeah. Do to do do. Let's see if this house is closed or open. Talk to the locals, see what's going on. We've got all the miners we need, so I hope you're not here looking for work. Well, no, I'm just here Nothing to here talk. Nothing here but the mine. Probably best you keep moving. All right, fine. Guess the Empire is going to need plenty of iron, what with all the fighting. That'll be good for us, I suppose. Talk to my parents if you need something. Okay, so much for that. Booted outside. Unceremoniously. Dragonborn's here. Get out. All right, let's go to the mine. You know why they call it a mine, don't you? Whenever people find there's valuable stuff in the ground, first person there goes, It's mine! It's mine! I just made that up, but you're free to use it. Wouldn't ever have expected to wind up living in a place like this. But the money's good. Well, you are out in the middle of nowhere, aren't you? Don't have to tell me twice. But then I'm not the one that buried iron under these mountains. I like your philosophy. Do you own it? No, and before you ask, it's not for sale. All right, well, I... Do you get many offers? Well, no. <laughs> but that's not the point. <laughs> Ryling owns the mine, and she's not selling. We make her some decent coin running this place. Keeps her living well in solitude. Okay. At least when we can get shipments to her. We're late on the last one. I expect her to start breathing fire any moment now. Well, is there any way I can help? You could take word to her that there'll be a shipment soon. Buy us some time and keep her off our backs. In exchange, I'm willing to let well, a few ingots go missing. Yes, sir. Fine, sir. Maybe more than a few. Good, good. Okay, I'll go see Briling for you. You're doing me quite a favor. I won't forget it. Sweet. I'm sure she'll be angry. Brace yourself. Oh, I will. I know a little mm -hmm. something about Briling. Let's just see if there's any other dialogue Get going on here. to the cold after a while. The harder you work, the warmer you stay. All right. Makes good sense. Let's see what else is going on here. I'm just here to work them up. The outside world means little to us, and we'd like it to stay that way. All right. See if there's anybody else here to talk to. Tiva, I, the hatchling, never imagined working a mine in this cold place. Greater things were dreamt of. Yeah. My business is my own. 
Why can't others see that? All right. This is not where Tiva I was meant to live out the rest of his days. Yes, sir, of course. All right. Keep up the good work. As long as I'm here. Uh, no, I'm, you know. I don't need to get ironed that badly. Spend every waking moment making sure the mind is All right, let's go talk to Bryling and uh, get this little thing done. These little bits of uh, little bits of work that keep stuff happening in Skyrim. Oh dear. 9:32 p.m. How do you put up with that fop, Fiata? I once saw Fiata put an arrow in between the eyes of a black blood marauder at 500 paces. You don't put up with a man like that. He puts up with you. Okay, we just learned a little something about Fiata. Uh, see if we can get an arrow marker on Bryling. Oh, she's out and about. There she is. Court has, uh... Hey. Thane Bryling, at your service. Thank you, Thane. Uh, Pactor asked me to deliver a message. Is everything all right? I've not heard from Sorley or Pactor in some time. Everything's fine. The shipment will be here soon. That's good news. I was starting to fear something had happened. You have my thanks. Wow. So much for that. She, uh, she didn't get angry. That's good. All right, uh, so that one's done. Piece of cake. All right. Okay. We're going to go ahead and travel to uh, Dragon's Bridge. Dragon Bridge, because I think that there's something that we missed there, too. And, uh... Go talk to... Olda here. Four Shields Tavern. Respect the law, and you'll have no trouble in Dragon. Mind you don't cross Tassius. He's in charge around here. Alright, we certainly don't want to cross Tassius. I'd hate to have to kill somebody without necessary. The name. I keep the inn. Hey, Feta. Something different about you, I can tell. Hope you ain't here to cause trouble. Nah. What do you got for sale? Take a look. See what you got. All right. Until next time. Until next time. All right. So many places to go to around here. I think this is the place we're supposed to go. It'll be closed. And then it'll be open. With any luck, it'll be popping out the door. Whoops! We have a naked person sweeping. Let me go talk to this guy. Seen some mean-spirited folk pass through lately. Thought I was rid of those sorts. Welcome, traveler. Mind yourself in our town. Hmm. 
Let's see. You mentioned folk mean folk passing Both through. The Imperials and Stormcloaks have sent riders this way, scouting the bridge in the lands nearby. Mm. They stayed at the inn but didn't pay. They said soldiers don't need to pay because they're risking their lives to protect us. Sounds like the Brits. And that's not all. They took a heap of our lumber, and one tried to have his way with my daughter. Oh. They think they can do whatever they want. <sighs> I want to do something about this. Do you worry about raising a family in these dangerous times? Of course. Every night I pray that we don't get a visit from a dragon, or that two armies don't show up to fight over the bridge. You ask if I'm worried. I'm terrified, if you want the truth of it. But I have to stay strong for my wife and children. All right, and you say you came here from Markarth. I grew up an orphan on the streets of Markarth. I'd have died there too, but for the kindness of an old warrior named Logrof the Bent. Logrof rescued me and gave me enough money to get out of the city. I followed the Karth River north and came here. When I met Michelle, I knew this is where I belonged. I suppose that's it, really. Darn, it gives me nothing to do. No action to take on his story. Good day. I'd love to go out there and bonk on some bad soldiers. Now, let me come up here and turn around from a great distance to see if the naked person is still sweeping. Yes. I have no idea why that is. Doesn't make any sense to me. Well, I may need to see whether or not she's somebody I'm supposed to meet, so I'm going to go ahead and take the camera up nice and high. Where is that lazy man? That's Olda. I'm supposed to talk to her. Good grief. Have you <gasps> met my husband? Well, don't bother. He's a drunk. Is your husband drinking too much? He promised me, swore on his ancestors, that he'd give up the mead. And what do I find out? He's been stashing drink in a cave nearby. He even has some wolves guarding it. Yeah. I swear. I should just cut out his tongue. That would be the end of it. Well, I could get your husband's stash for you. If you want to try, but I'll keep my dagger sharpened just in case. All right. You can help yourself to any drink you find, but bring me the bottle of Dragon's Breath Mead. It's his favorite, so I know he has one there. You got it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's go apologize for that. Let's go, um... Get the bottle of Dragon's Breath Mead. Kill the wolves. This is, I think I'm supposed to, like... Make yourself useful and chop up some firewood. There's a few coins in it for you. Really? I'm gonna go steal your mead, friend. You have no idea. You won't even see it coming. Eh. I guess even though I'm wearing sexy new armor, I'm not so important that I don't have to uh, use my magic. Muffle. And... Lightning bolt. <coughs> Smells like fried wolf. Got a bear up there. Maybe you better do a little more lightning bolt. Alright. That was fun. I did my job. Um, I don't have the right shield on here. I'll use the Elven Shield for right now.
Okay. Just for fun. Let's go ahead and switch these items out. Okay, Dragon Scale Shield, favorite, Elven Shield, not favorite. Wait, I can use my magic again. <sighs> you guys can chew on me all day with this armor. It's not gonna do anything. Why? Because you're because you're wolves. Because this is dragon scale. That's why. Alright. Let's check it out. Dragon's Breath Mead. Do I want any of this stuff? Not really. I'll take the hanging moss. Yeah. Give me some of that. Alright. I don't know what the deal is with the no clothing. I have to get I on the boards. At the wedding of the emperor's cousin in solitude. Gosh, that must have been horrible. Yeah, it was pretty sad. I'm catching hell for it now from my companion Vilya. Hey, look at this. So I'm trying to trying to. Lazy man. I have Dragon's Breath Mead. Stendar's mercy to you. If my Horgir doesn't give up the mead this time, I'll hit him over the head with it. Excellent. Here, for your trouble. Thank you. Wow. Does the presence of the guards here bother you? No. I openly welcome the presence of armed strangers who have no reason to care about any of us. Of course it bothers me. I'm sure it's only a matter of time until they seize our mill in the name of their war effort. Next thing you know, there'll be more guards, and then we'll lose our homes as well. This is just the start of it. Mark my words. Oh dear, and uh, does your family own the lumber mill? My husband owns it. Barely. He'll lose it soon enough. He's behind on his loan payments, but he drinks all his money away just the same. Now we're deep in debt, penniless. And about to lose our sole source of income. All right. All right then. Nice chat with you. Okay. Uh, that pretty much wraps that up. Okay, I'm gonna go run back see if I'm in hot water with uh, with the family at uh, Heliarkin Hall. I've been away for a while. <sighs> Then after that, we'll uh, get to. Uh, gotta seriously consider. Papa, you're home. Papa is Wanna home. Uh, isn't it past your bedtime? Aww. I wish I could play rock paper scissors with her. Tag and hide and seek are both. I mean, they're. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean. Terrible. Every once in a while, I break down and do it. That's right. Get your ass in bed. Is everybody in bed? 10.01 p.m. Hey, there you are. Yes? Uh, let's uh, just talk for a minute. Yes? I just want to see how our disposition is. How are your skills progressing? Not bad. Not bad at all. So I'm good to leave her here. That's good. Her health is up to 720. It was 710. And, uh... Pretty good. Light armor is not improving much. We need to... Probably because she's not taking a lot of hits. She's out there hammering the heck out of people. 
And, uh... Alright. Okay. We're good. Yeah. Alright. Everything's well here at the homestead, so... Uh, the only th question I have is whether or not Vilya is around. Or, I mean, uh, Lydia. And I'm going to go just check real quick. See whether or not having my house Carl at Winstead Manor is relieving her to remain here. That's a... Look, I mean, it doesn't really have much effect on the game. It's just a roleplay question that I have. I do love this house, though. This is my favorite house. Let's see. Can I jump up on the roof? No, I can't. Alright. Don't see her. Anyway, it's a beautiful, beautiful evening in, uh, along the border of uh, the southern part of the Pale. And uh, you can see, barely, you can see the silhouette of Dragon's Reach in the distance, White Run. And uh, it's a great house. I think with that I'll go ahead and do a game save. And I'm toying with the idea of, of doing of doing Dawnguard. I'll be able to tell you a little bit more uh, at the beginning of the next broadcast. And I must also investigate this this naked thing. Is that Gregor or Lydia? Son of a gun. Maybe she will be around more often. I don't know. Guess we'll see. Anyway. See ya next time.